In fact, the recently passed ordinance by the Karnataka government over usage of 60% Kannada in signboards has been rejected by the governor and sent back, asking it to be cleared in assembly. My colleague Deepak joins me with the phone lines. Deepak, good morning. Of course, this is clearly a setback for those uh, pro-Kannada organizations that were looking um, for this to be implemented. What more do we know? Well, uh, as far as the BBMP or several other, uh, you know, corporations are concerned, uh, they are uh, doing the implementation. But of course, there had to be a rule book in place. Uh, now, the ordinance was passed by the Karnataka government. Uh, now, keeping in mind that the assembly session is in just a couple of weeks, uh, the governor seems to have uh, rejected this ordinance and asked it to be cleared uh, in the upcoming assembly session. Uh, however, uh, it is expected to be a smooth clearance because of the BJP as well is not going to oppose uh, the same. Uh, so we'll really have to see whether this is any sort of new drama that's unfolding between the government or the governor or just a process and protocol that's being asked to follow. Hmm. Right, Deepak. I appreciate you getting us the latest as far as it is concerned. But like you said, we'll have to wait and watch if that is uh, any sort of new drama that will unfold between the governor and the government. But for the moment, we're going to have to leave it at that.